Middlers Derby brings Wolves to Filbert Street to face a Leicester City side that lost here for the first time this season seven days ago against Oxford United. And Ewan Roberts, the Welsh international striker, has been signed for £300,000 from Huddersfield in the wake of that defeat in a bid to pep up an attack, obviously missing the strength of the injured Steve Walsh. Wolves have had to make a late change because Derek Mountfield has flu. So coming to his spot in the centre of defence is Darren Simkin for only his seventh appearance of the season. Birch. Busy as ever. Thompson has reclaimed his place in the first team at Wolves this season. Useful ball over the top of the defender. Paul Cook's in here. Good stop. Cook might have done better. So might Bull there as well. And Leicester were really caught out by Thompson's ball over the top of the defence. Cook prefers it on his left foot, knows he really should have beaten Gavin Ward, and Steve Bull couldn't finish it either. So this Wolves free kick is eight or nine yards outside the Leicester penalty area. Cook with the left foot, favourite to take it, which is what he does. He goes for the clip. It was a super one too. And Gavin Ward scuttling across his line just sees it go the wrong side of the upright from a Wolves point of view well they've uh, deliberately used this ploy and Kelly gets in the shot Ward had to make the save Leicester were looking for an offside verdict I think there but yet again it was the ball over the top of the central defenders which posed the problem and Kelly nearly opened Wolves account Well, wait, that's a difficult one. That's really hanging in the air, and Roberts gets up for it, and it's cleared off the line. And for a moment, Ewan Roberts thought he was going to be a goal scorer then on his debut, and he's never scored on a debut anywhere before. So uh, he's just been deprived there. Nicely knocked down by Keane, and Birch now looks for the ball up the middle, and this time they're onside. Kelly goes for the lob, and the keeper was brave as he came out. It could have gone anywhere. The ricochet could have carried the ball into the Leicester net, but it didn't. And now it's flicked on, and there's Steve Ball. He scores! Yet again, Steve Ball scoring for the fifth consecutive season against Leicester City. Great interplay. Kelly out on the left, sweeping the ball across, and Ball needed no greater invitation than that. Again, it's hoisted to the edge of that area. Speedy can't control it, and it'll break for Kelly. A little nudge from him, and that might open things up again. Cook, he's got Bull through here. Steve Bull could be on for a second. He's hustled out of it. He still scores. Two for Bull, two for Wolves. Leicester caught absolutely cold by the ball up the middle. And this man, Steve Bull, who got a hat-trick at Derby a couple of weeks ago, is right back on the gold standard. Two in the space of four minutes from the former England striker, bring him 11 for the season. <laughs> Speedy climbed much too quickly there. And that one up the middle, Bull, he's onside, could get round the keeper, he might pick himself up, he still pokes the ball through, just wide of Ward's right hand upright, otherwise it would have been another bully hat-trick. Agnew. He's probably been the most effective midfield man so far. Pushes it down this right for Mills, and this is the source of danger. Here it comes, Roberts! It's a super goal from Ewan Roberts! He rose to meet the cross from Gary Mills, and it's the first time he's ever scored on his debut. Well, that's a great ball, and here's Mills again, and... The Wolves must tremble every time he's got the ball. Roberts is there again. Speedy misses. Roberts scores. And what a dream of a debut for you and Roberts. He did the initial damage with the header from the cross by Mills. Speedy somehow just couldn't twist to score himself. But Roberts from an almost impossible angle forces it in, he's got two, Leicester have got two, and it's 2-2 two -two now.